Bring it, y'all. Hey, I'm here with a little, another little tutorial to um, show you how to get streaming your um, ITV show streaming on your local LAN. So um, I was doing it the long and vigorous way of encoding in Flash, but it takes a while. But but I stumbled upon a way to do it right inside ITV, which is really nice. So um, I thought I would show you. Wait for my hard drive to spin up, or my external. All right. Um, it's probably okay. So let's say we have I don't know um, this TV show. We, if we wanted to um, put it in an HTML web page and not use something like Flash, what we would do is go down to export again, like I showed you before. Except now we want to select QuickTime Movie, hit Options, and under Video we want to hit Settings and we want to restrict it to about 200 kilobits per second and then we want to prepare for internet streaming and the way we want to do that is say hinted streaming so we would hit OK and then we would normally save it but I've already done that so um, so once it exports it all then you would make a simple HTML page that would um, a simple HTML page with a link to directly to your file. It wouldn't have to be you. You don't embed your file into the web page at all. You link it directly to the file. Um, and then you may be asking, well, how do I get a web server? So you could use Apple's web server that comes with the Mac. You how you would enable that is you go to System Preferences and hit Sharing. And right here, Personal Web Sharing. You could simply enable that and it would give you your IP address to um, type into another computer on your LAN and then you would be able to um, watch your movies what, like watch your movies away from your computer the, what this is most useful for is um, on a if you have a server at home then put all your movie shows on a TV shows on a TVs and sh movies on a um, uh, on a your local LAN server and then just link them to your computer so you can watch it on your laptop and the couch, wherever. That's what this is most useful for. But anyway, another way to get a server running is um, to use XAMPP or MAMP, both of which are free. Um, XAMPP is pretty easy to set up, so is MAMP. Um, I won't step you through how to do that. But anyway, I'll show you the basic site. If we open up a new tab and we go to our IP address, which is found in our network area of our um, system settings. All we have to do is type in our IP address. Mm, and then our subfolder I put it in because I haven't done that. And then, um, so I put it in set a subfolder. You could just make it at the root of your um, web, whatever you want to do. So I just typed in my subfolder, and here's some of my TV shows. If we go to all.html, you can see them all. And, um, Anyway, here they are. Uh, let's see. Uh, no day we. The old joke shop. <laughs> Rookie mistake, Millhouse. <laughs> yeah, so that's how you would. That's how they play. They play pretty darn fast, um, especially if you set at about 200, like I. 200 kilobits per second like I said to in ITV um, it makes it a whole lot easier so you don't have to encode it in flash which takes a long time and um, you can do it straight from ITV um, so anyway thank you for watching my tutorial if you have any questions please ask so inside the comments area and um, once again thank you for watching